Hello everyone, uh, my name is Cedric Lodresse, I'm CEO and Technical Director of uh, Eugen System and today I will present to you the Dynamic Campaign which is playable in solo and in multiplayer one versus one. We're going either to choose to lead the NATO troops and then contain the offensive from the Warsaw Pact or we're going to command the Soviet forces in order to conquer Scandinavia. In this Dynamic Campaign the choices you will make will have a huge impact on the upcoming events. The victories or defeats in the random events will impact your political points. Those political points are used to obtain reinforcements and strategic support, such as new combat groups, missile strikes, intelligence missions, special forces, tactical nuclear weapons, and many more. When two enemy combat groups confront each other on a strategic level, the battle then begins into tactical view, and you have to win the battle in real time. The army is composed of combat groups that persist along the entire campaign. These units gain experience and get stronger after each battle. However, remember that any loss is permanent, so do your best to protect your troops. Different zones of the map bear different levels of importance. For example, capturing a capital city will have a political impact, but it will not directly affect military operations. On the contrary, controlling sea harbors and airports will enable you to intensify the deployment and will give you new strategic opportunities. Various combat groups such as marines, paratroopers, airborne troops, mechanized, armored, show different setups and capabilities, and the tremendous strategic possibilities.